There it is, fellas. There it is. The Runite bolts. We're gonna stay here. We still have uh, 304. I actually did die, by the way. Well, okay. <sighs> Somebody is smiling down on me today, guys. There is some serious RNG coming my way. Blue dehyde chaps. I, I, I swear. I, wow. That is amazing. Oh. <laughs> uh, bit of a dead chunk. I do have the dig site, so it is connecting already, but it is a bit of a dead chunk, that, isn't it? I feel like your range is actually much stronger, which is why I'm camping the range prayer much more. Like, like right now, guys, I... Hey guys, welcome to episode, God, what episode is it? 19? I think it's episode 19. Yeah, and as you guys know, the fight, as always, as it has been, has been incredibly close for the longest time now, and we're still fighting for that first place position. Now, there's still one thing that I feel is holding me back massively from just a lot of things, and the main one, I guess, being just overall training and getting my stats up, and that's prayer potions. I still somehow do not have the correct herbler level from prayer potions i have gotten a bit lucky from the chests i know i said it last episode but i shouldn't have gotten that lucky getting the super stars and prayer pots i shouldn't have i shouldn't have won last fight i mean i can say that about a lot of fights maybe i should or shouldn't have won but the rng came through for me and of course i went with it and I still don't have the level. It's something I really have to focus on. Now, I came up with two possible plans that I could do. One, go for Edgar's Druze quest, which I believe is possible this episode. It gives 11k Herblore experience, but there's a lot of prerequisites and more quests and scaling that I have to do. I need to actually get 31 Herblore to do it in the first place. But um, the problem with doing the quest is that I feel like it's not as efficient as we can be. Right now, we have a rune crossbow, and we can now use rune bolts in the episode. So my thought was I want to definitely train range as fast as I possibly can, get XP while also getting herbs. And what if I said we could possibly train, or not train, but use prayer, eagle eye, as we train today. So of course we have this unlock right here, the one we're starting. And this connects to, and I have to say it at least once per episode, the giant landmass. So we have free reign of where we want to unlock. I'm going to skip over these two. I'll explain those in a second. But this is my plan. There's an altar here with Elder Chaos Druids right next to a telly spot. All right, Pizza Gs, and welcome back to another PvP chunk progression challenge thing. And if you have missed any of the previous episodes, there have been a load. Click the playlist up in the top right corner here or in the description. The videos do alternate between me and Rog's channel, so the easiest way to keep up with them all is just to click that playlist and watch it through there. Um, but in the last episode, I got this chunk here, which was a bit of a dead chunk, but I didn't realize that I'd be able to walk um, through here and then uh, up towards here and then actually be able to go through this little gap here, which is pretty huge um, being able to get in here because it means I don't have to open up this chunk and it means we can probably in future go towards Canifus. But as I say, in the future, we're going to do that. We're going to be opening up five chunks here, um, and the first one is going to be this one. Uh, this is because I'm going to be doing the feud today. 15,000 thieving XP, and it gives you access to a thieving method that can do up to 90,000 XP an hour, even at our level, which is just massive. Then I'm going to be opening up this chunk as well, just for p future stuff. We're going to need access to this. And then obviously with my last three, it's going to be one, two, three, um, to unlock everything to do Monkey Madness. Look at that, three wasted water chunks just to do this, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. So Monkey Madness, hopefully we'll do this uh, episode. But the first thing I want to do is the feud quest. Um, I put all of my 50k into thieving um, because we need to get those grubby keys out. So the plan is to do the feud, hopefully 
after that we'll have to do like 45 minutes maybe less 30 minutes of thieving with the blackjacking and we'll have 57 thieving uh, so it's possible that within an hour we'll have that 57 thieving requirement for the grubby keys so let's start the timer and let's start the feud boom eagle eye the entire time protect from magic hitting hard getting good xp and getting herbs in the process to top off on that 38 prayer i'm hoping that even if it's a bit slow it makes up for in some really decent XP. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I hope it works out because the Edgar's Rude Quest will then be looking that much better. But I'm already like locking it in. So it is what it is, right? Then I'm gonna skip those two for a second. We're gonna come down here. I'm gonna unlock Ardune, this part of Ardune at least. A lot of people said, why didn't I tell you in the last episodes? Like, use your Ardy telly. I couldn't, it was blocked off, but now it's not. Yippee. Come down a little bit. We have Yanil. I need to buy a Greenman's Ale because I'm going to stop at 37, boost that motherfucker at 38, and this is one of the spots, one of three spots you can get it, and the only spot I can unlock this episode, so, or easily this episode. Then we have two more. You're probably thinking, why are these two? Well, this is for the Dig Site Quest, of course, plus 2k Herb Lore experience when I finish, so I figured as a last resort, if I need it, come and do this quest and then this one just to make it easier to try to get to Mortania when I'm going to be in this region a little more often for things like Barrows. I posted it wrong here forgot to mention where I put my XP I had 60k in total I topped off on 57 thieving so I don't have to go and uh, get squirks anymore and I put the rest of the XP into fletching and it got me to level 36. All right, guys, we are off. So we teleported instantly to LMS. That's how we got here so quick. And we are right next to the altar where, of course, the Elder Chaos Druids are. This is the setup. I am bringing some melee and range defense here as well, just because, of course, PKers. Now, if I lose my stuff, the timer still ticks down, um, but I can get my stuff back at the GE. So that's why I'm not worried about losing any of the stuff. I always want to mention that whenever I am in the wilderness. So we have the looting bag. We have our emergency tellies because, of course, telling out is a lot quicker than buying it. And this world is taken. So uh, let's find the empty world. Hopefully we can keep Eagle Eye on and protect from magic on the entire time. You know, we could kill this guy and see how well we hit it. So this is the reason we needed to open up this chunk because we got to talk to Ali Morrisane to start this quest. Boom, there we go. 15,000 thieving XP and oak blackjack and the desert disguise. 53 fishing, fishing, thieving coming in. And we've got that blackjack in the bank. So I'm going to head back to Polly now and we're going to get ourselves that uh, 57 thieving, uh, which really shouldn't take long at all. We need about 60k XP and it's saying it's a minimum of 60k XP all the way up to 90k depending on how much uh, effort you put into being efficient and obviously because we're on the time we're going to be as efficient as possible so I'm hoping we get like 80 to 90k XP here an hour. Honestly guys I couldn't record and keep up the rhythm I tried to do it once and it just went everywhere so this is a bit of a voiceover after but the XP was insane and just you know, the bandits were such an option to go for. They they sped this up massively. Right, here we go, guys. Should be coming up. There we go. 57 thieving. We are out of here. Uh, I'm going to home telly. Yeah, let's send a home telly. We also got 48k. So that's not bad either. It's time to do monkey madness. I've got all the supplies I need, everything. We are good to go. Let's start this bad boy. Here is Rune Light absolutely saving the day. Just, I mean, not even just for this series, but for anyone, guys. How amazing is this? I remember back in the day when I was about 10 trying to do this. I think we need to grab some food, to be honest. Um, and I think we have to go to the teleporter, don't we? Okay, here we go. The famous bit of this famous scene, really, of uh, this quest. Can we open it before? Pick lock. Oh, we did. Nice. We got our anti-poison already on, so we're all good. And we'll just wait for this one to go out. And uh, honestly, done Monkey Madness so many times. Here we go. First sort of part of Monkey Madness done. Get away from me. There we go. And we will give him all the stuff we have. Zooknock really likes to talk. Bloody hell. Come on, mate. And give him the Monkey Amulet and give him the Gold Bar. And my guy should sort us out with a monkey amulet here. There we go. Or an enchanted bar even, which we're going to turn into a monkey amulet. Um, oh yeah, they teleport you and shit. 
Uh, wow, that's beautiful. That is amazing. I think we've hit it every time so far. So we just got to get by the alts here. So I'll kill this one, hop worlds, and get myself nice and situated and comfy. And hopefully we get lots of herbs. You know, let's fill this looting bag up quick. And banking too should be so quick. Really excited about this. I hope this pays off. So guys, I was right on one thing. The XP. The XP here is pretty darn nifty. But unfortunately, the herbs don't really drop that fast. And I did get attacked once. And I had to run away. Um, I live, thankfully. But I did have to run away. And it did mess up some time. Um... I'm hitting these guys like a truck, but the problem is I'm just not getting herbs fast enough. I've been here, what, just over 30 minutes, I guess 37 minutes, and uh, we have, if I can show this real quick, um, yeah, just over half a looting bag, and all these, except that one, I can't even use because my level isn't high enough, of course, so I don't really know if I'm going to stay here. I'm thinking I'll just stay here for the hour just because the XP is really good. Secure the fact that I'll get 50 or sorry, 50, 68 range in this episode and then just rush normal chaos druids with the rune crossbow rune bolts. I think it'll just be insanely fast. Oh, there we go. If every drop was like that, that'd be amazing, but it's not. And they have a lot of HP, like two massive hits and the dude's not even half HP yet. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to probably leave this place, unfortunately. I think it was worth the try, but it's definitely not worth the risk of wasting all the time re-gearing just to get a little faster XP, you know? So, oh, bit, bit sad. I'm a bit sad, but it is what it is. We tried. So here's the issue, guys. I actually technically have enough for the level I need in terms of herbs, but the problem is getting secondaries. That's pretty much the issue that I'm gonna have. Now, um, of course, the attack potions are fine, so the guams I can get through easy, but things like Marantils, getting those unicorn horns are not easy. So I might have to revert to plan B now and just spend a lot of time killing unicorns and collecting secondaries. Thankfully, chocolate dust is pretty easy to get, and I also found out that I have 21 white berries in the bank, which is huge because I'll show you really, really quick. I actually can't get the white berry spawn up here which i'm kind of upset at myself that i forgot about but um you know it, it is what it is so let's just mix all the potions we can let's see what level we can get to we'll probably get to 27 i have like a bunch of renars to clean and that'll give some xp as well I have like 59 renars in the bank then i'm going to get like six xp per or something like that so yeah i'm gonna go through all the potions that i can really quickly i think we can also make energy potions at 26 which is a lot of xp so um let's get out these renars and then we'll buy some chocolate how much xp is it eight okay even better and this should get us to 27 herb lore there we go for some reason, Monkey Madness, it's always seen, I think it's just because we were, you know, kids, it's a very nostalgic sort of, uh, sort of quest, but it's really not that long of a quest, the, uh, the Monkey Madness one, it's really, really easy, and, uh, it's really not going to take too much time, like, I wouldn't be too surprised if we have, like, an hour 45 left after doing this, so, yeah, we'll see. I keep getting attacked! There we go, the Monkey Speak Amulet, okay, so now we got to go down here. Um, and get ourselves out of this side. All right, here we go. I think we are ready. We've got our runite bolts. We've got unlimited, remember, because of the sort of treaty me and Kins have. Let's wear this. And let's do it. Let's go and kill the jungle demon. And I think I've nailed this with saying we'd be done around 145. We might actually be a little bit before that. But uh, this should be very, very easy. It's weak to range. We've got a huge range level and range attack bonus on what we've got. So this really shouldn't take long. Uh, where is the big man though? There he is. Oh yeah, we are hitting beautifully. Very, very nice. This might be the kill, not quite. Boom, that is the kill, surely. There we go. Awesome, talk to Garkor. I, sw I feel like Zooknock, he just teleports you somewhere random. Yeah, he does. I don't know why that's a thing. Let's uh, teleport to Ardy and get the hell out of here. Um, and yeah, we will go back to King Narod Shireen. And that is going to be quest completed. It's just whether or not I can get 100k together for a Dragon Simi straight away. I'll have a look. We obviously have that like 50k from all that thieving we did. 
So I'm feeling fairly confident that we will be able to out a few things um, and stuff like that just to get up to that 100k. But um, yeah, easy. Super easy. 1 minute 50 left or 1 hour 50 even. Oh, you get given 10k as well, don't you? That's going to help towards the funds. Okay, there we go. So if we go up and talk to Dario now, we will get some XP. Now I need to make sure... Uh, I don't know what to go in. I think... I think I'm going to go for the, uh, the strength XP. Talk to Dario. Yeah, I think we'll go for the strength. Let's get that to 60. And, uh, and then we'll hopefully be hitting harder and stuff. Focus on strength and stamina. Um, I'm tempted though. I'm tempted on attack, but nah. Let's go strength and stamina. Boom. This is going to give us hopefully a level or two. There we go. 58 strength coming in. 67 hit points. Really close to 59 strength. So that's nice. Not too close on the HP. But our 59 strength really isn't far off. Let's try and get 100k together. Travel back to Apatol and get ourselves a Dragon Simi. Which is going to be massive for the account. So, so big. It feels great now having already unlocked to its entirety. I could actually be buying chocolate bars in Zaya as well. So I didn't need this, but... It's a teleport, and like I said, I just saved a few minutes getting to this part of the map by not using a game necklace and running down to the center of Zaya, or using the fishing trawler to then walk all the way up here. So we're now making those energy pots 67.5 XP each. We have 81 to make. Let's mix them all, see what level we get to, because this should get us decently high. I think all this will be like 6-ish K experience. 30, now I believe that's defense potions. Yes, oh, and we can clean toad flaxes. That's good. That is very, very needed and good. And then these defense pots are going to get us to, I believe, level 32. Yes. So it is now time to get a lot of unicorn horns. When I was picking my chunks, I actually thought about picking the chunk right above the one I unlocked, which gives access to black unicorns, actually. But they're level 27 and not 15. Um, it might have been slightly faster, I really don't know, but these two are pretty close together, and I can one-shot them with, with relative ease with these, um, uh, rune bolts here, and I'm trying to save spot them like that, so I could literally pick up the horn, uh, my bolts and hop worlds, and not have to wait that 10 second delay every time I get in combat, which is of course every time I hop. And about 53 minutes later, we get exactly 162. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's just uh, mix them all and see what level we get from this. It's not going to be enough, but hopefully it's close. The last nine. I hate this so much. I really do. So if we do the dig site quest, that will actually get us to 36. So that's what I'm going to do right now. The only herb I really have left to make is Taramins and the Renars, but I can't get any more... Um, white berries so it's gonna have to be the taramins or questing or actually definitely a mixture of both so let's go do the dig site quest right now i'm probably just gonna bank everything we need to get light actually we might have a really easy route to it here we're not gonna need the dragon longsword anymore and i think that's gonna give me 50k there we go absolutely awesome all right let's uh get out of here bring our monkey talisman boom and uh, let's go and buy ourselves a Dragon Simi. Here we go, 1 hour 45, and we're going to have a Dragon Simi. That's the wrong shop. This one, Dagger. Is that the price it should be? Yeah, 100k, boom. Oh, yes, let's telly out. Okay, let's not telly out of here because we will get absolutely destroyed if we stand here and, and, put the, uh, and take the talisman off. So let's go behind here. And let's do that. Telly out. Arty. Dragon Simi on the account, guys. Dragon Scimitar. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. That really is. Um, okay, I think we should go and do the grubby chest now, because we've got the um we've got the level for it. 57. So let's go do the grubby chest. Uh the quickest way there is probably gonna be home tellying, to be honest, and going through Port Sarum. I think that's the only way we can really get there. So, yeah, let's grab two keys out. And let's see if we can get ourselves some super attacks and stuff. That would be amazing. 
Okay, I decided to bring three keys instead, just because then I can do two trips, because we've got six total, I can do two trips that way. And uh, if we get any, like, egg potatoes or anything, I'll just drop them. So here's the first key on. <laughs> oh, yes. We get ourselves the super set, which is exactly what we wanted to see. Let's go again. We get some toad flax, some a ranging pot, super defense, and some sharks. And the last key. Ooh, we get a crystal key. I think I actually have another crystal key to use, which I just keep forgetting about. So uh, we will have a look at that. Uh, might as well take some egg potatoes now, seeing as we've got the space. Uh, very, very happy with that. That's a really good start. I'm going to have to run all the way back through the catacombs now. Oh, look how many freaking jades I got before I got an opal. Literally ridiculous. And there is the quest complete. 15k mining, but we want that 2k herb lore. 36, 2.3k away. Okay, I need to think for a second. Um, I, I have a few options. You guys probably guessed it when I said I was thinking, but the very cliche option of just killing chaos druids. And, you know, the reason I'm here is because it is the fastest. All I have is the Towermans and the Renars. You guys know I can't use the Renars right now up. I don't have any more um, berries in the bank, the white berries and the Towermans. I can't get access to be able to make the Sanfu Serums 207. The Quest Shades of Morton actually also gives 2k Herbler experience to make the Sanfu 207s, but I can't get back to that region, so that's off the table. And um, yeah, Limport Roots, definitely not doing that. Those take forever to get. I figured it's just much faster to come here, get new herbs, get new secondaries, especially Harrowlanders. Do we have any Harrowlanders yet? We do. Those are the best because you can just buy chocolate bars and each potion gives like 60 something, 67.5, I think. They're actually ridiculous. I think I could actually make uh, combat potions now, which are better XP, but that's a, that's a hike up to uh, the desert, so... <laughs> probably won't do that but this is definitely the method i know for a fact we're gonna get it i just hope we don't get it like last minute i i don't want to be stressed to have prayer pots in this fight snape grass i'll definitely snag a few so we don't have to get some later i know i have some in the bank from killing these guys but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna focus on getting these kills i'm gonna start prayer flicking going about it very sweatily and um yeah with just about 17 minutes left i'm pretty sure i have enough to get the level um, we actually got a decent amount of XP just cleaning the herbs there, so we need 1.9k experience, and, um, should be easily, easily doable. I'm gonna have, like, a very awkward amount of time left over, but I definitely don't want to cut this last minute. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Come on. Really? One potion short? Okay, round two. Three more keys. I'd like to see a ranging pot. I would, so please, no more super attacks, no sharks there, 200 deaths though, take that, I will take that, uh, again, no ranging pot, 10k, not bad, let's put these all together, save as much space as possible, and we have our last chance here to get a ranging pot, I mean we've already got a half, but it would be nice to see another one, uh, let's drop some of these egg potatoes, come on. Give me a ranging pot. Yes, there we go. The super defense as well. Few sharks. Okay, very happy with how that's all come together. Uh, we can't put anything together. So let's RD teleport. And uh, yeah, very happy with that whole, a whole ranging pot. Uh, loads of super attacks, super strengths, super defenses. Bit of GP and some sharks. Very, very happy with that. A bit tempted to try and get some more grabby keys, but... I sort of need to come up with a plan now because everything's been for items. Nothing's been for the fight. Okay, I've decided to go for killing the druids with range. The way I look at it is I can catch Kins up on range fairly easily. Obviously, he can keep training range and keep staying ahead of me. That's fine. But at some point, he has to start doing the melees. He has to start doing magic if he wants to like keep up with me. And the way I look at it right now is if he tries to keep up with melee, he has to do everything I've already done. Plus then Monkey Madness, Lost City, all these quests that I've done. Whereas all I have to do is sit here, chuck on these two prayers, and attack these druids, and slowly get my range up. Get grubby keys. It just seems like a really productive way of going about things. We've now got the runite bolts. We can just sit here so nicely and just and just chill, to be honest. Oh, also, on top of that, I've got the blue dehyde chaps, I've got the red spiky vans, which Kins doesn't have at the moment. So my range attack bonus is far better than his right now. 
so I just think I'm in such a good position to try and catch him up, and, and it would be so amazing if we could be sat on, like, one level under or the same level as Kins range-wise when he's been putting so much time and effort into it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just a good all-round plan. Ooh, what's that? I'm a little defense. Nice. Uh, currently looking at 40k an hour, but I think it's going to go over that. I think we're going to be looking at 45 to 50, somewhere around there. But uh, very, very nice to see. Right, here we go. This is going to be 64 range coming in. There we go. Let's get this kill. And then I'm going to go over to the baby reds in the corner. Um, and I am going to chuck my melee gear on, which I've got with me. Um, and we're going to get an attack level and a strength level, just because we might as well do that. So let's chuck this on. What do we get? Anything decent? Some cosmic runes. Got a lot of those at the moment. Uh, and yeah, just get an attack and strength level. And uh, yeah, go from there. So it turns out I actually had enough Karambons in the bank to fight this fight, which I was getting a bit nervous because I used the teleport to get here through Nightmare Zone, and then I wouldn't be able to get to the Tazar. So this, this is working out perfectly. We have two Marantils. So after we buy the Green Man's Ale, we're going to go to Varrock, kill some more Unicorns, only make two Anti Poisons. And uh, that should be enough for the level. And then, of course, the plus one from here. We're going to buy a few, though, because I want to make all my prayer pots. Or no, it doesn't have to be all of them, but I do want to make a lot of them. All right, add those Marantils. I'm really excited. This is a long time coming. Add the Unicorn Horn. 37. Drink that. And the prayer potions. Oh my gosh, this took way too long to get on this account. I have like five and a half minutes to kill. I'm just going to kill Chaos Druids just to get some range XP, honestly, because I don't want to just sit here and do nothing for five minutes. That's a complete waste of time, and I can't really go anywhere in this time. Um, and I just figured Chaos Druids were closest. So I'm going to just kill five minutes worth, and then I'll see you guys in Edgeville with all of my gear. Right, guys, I'm going to be as brief as possible on this because I could ramble all day about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, long story short, I'm going range. The most predictable thing I could be doing right now, but I still think hybriding with magic is off the table for two reasons. Lack of magic gear and his red dehyde body. When I got the win with magic, that is, he didn't have the red dehyde body. He had one, he just didn't bring it. And I think he learned his lesson. Plus, on top of that, range is much more common of a style for him to use now because he was like 60-something. It's like 61. I forgot what it was already last episode. Um, but he has a rune crossbow. I, I'm Honestly, I'm assuming he put his, his XP into thieving and either got 55 and then used squirks or just got 57. I don't know what option he did, but I'm fairly certain he probably got his thieving up. It's it's the it's the it's the next progression in his range build to so the bow, the body, um, the prayers, and then the pots. It's the next big upgrade, probably the last big range upgrade for a while, to be honest. So he definitely definitely has that, and I think magic would just be a mistake. So we're going just straight tank range now. Some people might be thinking, well. The fight was really close. If you just go in this now, maybe you'll lose because he's going to have pots. But yes, but no. I now have the freedom of bringing prayer pots. I decided on three. I'm actually still unsure of that number. But uh, I want to be praying the entire fight. And I want to make sure I can keep Eagle Eye on so I can switch my prayers. And then that's the only thing I have to worry about in the fight. Plus the recoil, of course. <laughs> but uh, that that's for another story. Um, so that's kind of the plan. But I'm going to end it there. And I'll see you guys in the fight. All right, Peter G's. This is the plan. Uh, as you can see, going for the granite body, blue dehyde chap um, sort of combo here. The reason for that is I'm going to be switching to the scimitar. And I've looked into it, if he decides to just pray range and think that the scimitar isn't going to do any damage, bringing these three pots means that I will outdo his DPS. So if he just sits there like he did last fight and he's just like, actually no, I just want to protect from your rune crossbow, I don't want you to switch to that and hit me with a big hit, this will out DPS him. I don't know if bringing this much, you know, pots and stuff will mean he still wins because he will have more food than me, but this does out DPS him if he decides to just sit on protect from range. If he doesn't decide to sit on protect from range, because we have the blue dehyde chaps on, um, it gives us 108 range with 204 range defense. Also have a plus 28 magic defense in case he tries to go down that route again. 
Um, it just means that we're going to be way more accurate having the blue dehyde chaps. And of course, we've got the uh, spiky vams as well, um, rather than if we were just going uh, granite body and rune pl uh, plate legs. I looked into red dehyde body, rune plate legs as a combo, and it's actually worse across the two styles. Obviously, it's better when I'm ranging, but it's worse when uh, I'm meleeing. I would actually lose the fight um, DPS wise. Um, if I had the red dehyde room plate leg um, on for if he did decide to just uh, defend from range. So this is the setup. That's the plan. Um, to be honest, until we get these stats up a little bit, um, the range is still lacking behind on him. I don't feel my melee stats are quite strong enough yet to be competing. Um, but obviously, we're going to work on that very, very soon. And then melee could really become quite dangerous. Obviously, the scimitar is quicker than the rune crossbow as well, so we will be getting more hits in um, than we were previously. Not going to bring the dragon dagger. I just want to see how this is going to do, but we probably will start bringing that dragon dagger in future to get those poison hits off and stuff. But just right now, I just want to see how this is going to do. Obviously, we got uh, 16 sharks from the grubby keys, so I'm using them. I really want to go ahead and try and win this one. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. Let's uh, see how it does. Link, how are we doing today, man? Four hours is up. Sorry, I just I just had an ice cube in my mouth. <laughs> I said, Link, are you ready? Like, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I took a swig, and it was too big of a swig, and an ice cube came with it, so. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> right, like, how are you feeling about this episode, man? Quite happy with my progression, but I, don't, I, I feel like you and me have gone down different paths. I feel like you went down the whole, like, okay, get my skills up, get some items together, and really... And really try and like maximize your dps quite early on whereas i feel like i've gone down the path of like okay i'll try and get a broad range of things get my plan together and then work out where i want to put my xp and stuff into so i feel like i've got a good range of stuff going on but i don't feel like i've put enough xp into any particular combat style to be op in it if that makes sense right no it does it does, um, it does. so Definitely. i'm quite happy with my progress but i i still i'm still on that sort of side of i i do feel like you have a better build in the pvp sense right now i had one goal the entire time i filmed today and right I'm not gonna say what it is you'll just uh have to wait and see link let's start with the combat level reveal okay and yep. uh, we'll take it from there so three right. two one go Yep, that's Ooh. higher. That is definitely higher. Ooh, okay. Shit. What was he training? Okay. That's gotta be I feel like that's gotta be melee. I don't know. I, I don't know where you're getting those combat levels from. Is that like you magic based still? No way. Uh, we, I, I went and just got 70 prayer and got piety made. So yeah. <laughs> and how'd you do that? <laughs> Fuck's uh, sake. There's this thing called the Grand Exchange. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. that's a bit nerve-wracking. Um, um, I guess my biggest fear—give me fear, a look up, mate. My biggest give fear is up. that you somehow manage to um, get a dragon simi, but I know melee is probably your weakest combat style right now. He's got. Uh, oh, I God. think it literally okay. went attack and, and strength went up. I think that is it. Right. Um, okay. I got up to I got up to a few things this episode. Um, Was monkey madness you... one of them, Link? <laughs> If you look at the thieving level, I also got fifty-seven thieving. So that, like a lot, a lot happened. Oh it yeah, like you know I saw that, dude. I <laughs> expected that so hard. I looked right, fuck it over. Like yeah, right, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. So so I, you know, it wasn't just like I was training all episode. I had to get the thieving level, and I had to do that, and then you know, obviously the grubby keys are now huge for me. Yeah, he's gonna have ranging um, pods. I I I mean, this is all things I've well, the ranging pods I definitely saw coming. 50 attack, 50 strength, that's the same, because you did that for Ibans. Uh, uh, 64 defense is the same. 68 range? Yeah, we did go up a range wow. level. I unlocked the chunk with the Elder Chaos Druids. And oh, right. I and was just... just sat by the... Yeah, just sat by the altar, yeah. getting mm -hmm. like... I think it was like 55k XP an hour. And that's wow. with banking and stuff. I'm only banked once. Wow. But like, wow, that was that's ridiculous. Mental. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you did. I see what the you did. Elder the Elder Chaos the, Druids the, didn't give it away. <laughs> like, shit. 37 prayer. I mean, how, yeah. how, how was that for you? That, it, dude, it took me all episode to fucking get it. Um, it's not 
that big of a deal because you know I, I trained in the process as well um yeah. but it got to the point where it was like i don't have enough herbs to get the level if i sacrifice herb lore xp for just better combat xp yeah um so i did dig site quest and then i just started killing like the normal chaos druids which right. then taught me to 68 range i think it actually got me a little bit yeah i'm like one fourth the way to 69 now and uh right. just got herbs and i finished with like 12 minutes left Got the level, it was fucked. Okay. Yeah. All right, so prior pots are now unlimited because we yep. both have access to them. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. I so, mean, let's get into the reveal, man. I'm, I'm itching. It. Yeah, all right, Link, call first item. Let's do it. All right, let's go body, mate. Let's see what's going man, there. We've been trying wacky things recently. I don't know what to ever <laughs> expect from my guy. <laughs> Here comes the reach and top or something. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So you go in melee. Well, I don't know what to take out those green D high chaps, throw them <laughs> on legs. Uh, dude, how long did that take you to get? I had it last episode, mate. I told you this. You He's did. already forgotten me, isn't he? Wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I said, yeah, I did Hunter and I got my red spiky bams and I got my blue D hides. Wow, <laughs> I genuinely forgot. <laughs> genuinely <laughs> forgot. I mean, I, I knew about the red spikies. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I ha I got them last episode. So, okay, yeah. okay. Wow, well, fuck me then. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shit. Well, let's go gloves, mate. Seeing as we're talking about the red spikies, let's let's see wag one. Greeny boys okay. still. Okay, all right. Greeny boys. Um, let's go shields. They're gonna know what to expect Ooh. here. I would, I would, if you hadn't told me you were trying to get herbs all episode that you'd have a rune kite, but I'm guessing you didn't have time to go hit up the. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh. Um, with unlimited rune bolts, a rune kite was not on my plan this episode. Yeah, I mean it never yeah, has yeah. been. If it, it it would have been welcomed with open arms, would have gotten it. But yeah, our rune kite RNG is not there. Uh, um, I to be honest, I definitely haven't killed sixty four of them, so I'm not or sixty five, right. so I'm not <laughs> I'm not too stressed about it. Let's go necklace, mate. I'm sure this hasn't changed. Nope. Yeah. Cool. Uh, boots. Do you get sneaky boys or anything? Okay. No, so... I can't. I can't get them. Why is that? Don't you have? I the... don't have. I don't have access to the snakes that oh, drop snake Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, yep. So I don't either. I'm like one unlock away from it, but I've just been right. too stubborn to actually fucking do it. So because <laughs> I just think it's gonna take a, an, an okay amount of time and for like plus one well, I mean, bonus. So I I, I looked it. at it and I was like, am I gonna waste a chunk unlock for fucking like a two plus range like on uh, that? You know? Probably not. Uh, let's get helmet. Cool. 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 Let's keep. <laughs> He's not making that mistake again. <laughs> Is that? I'm gonna not. see that cape in the finale. <laughs> that ain't going anywhere. Um. Obviously, recoil, runite bolts. Yep. And then it's just weapon, mate. Correct. Yep, yep, yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. 59 Monkey. strength, though. I, uh, I, you know what? It, it's this, this will tell a lot, I think, you know? Because mm. if, if this yep. is a close fight and you predominantly use melee, I mean, I don't know what your plan is, but. Yeah, as you say, mate, that that was my preview before the fight. I want to see how this Dragon Simi does, how it holds up, um, and just whether or not you're going to worry about it, you know? Might as well give it a test out now when we're lower combats and, and just see what happens. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Mm. Let's see what he's got today. Obviously that. Yep. Obviously that. Yep. Uh, I'm bringing three prayer pots. I don't know how many you're going to bring. My sort of plan was to outlast you on prayer today, Same. but, you know, I got two of these. Yep. So I, I mean, it. you you had a lot of fucking keys, so. Wow. Yeah, shit. Super I sad. mean, it definitely makes sense, but does that scare you at all that you have just so many? My, my thought process is filled up. My thought process is each prayer pot allows you to keep all the prayers on as long as you want, effectively. A <sighs> hey, thank fuck. Um, so a prayer pot's worth more than food, you know, just because you'll be able to keep on things for the whole fight. So each one of those prayer pots pay their weight in food. I think the ranging pot is just needed to 
at least compete with you. Mm. And then the superset, again, it needs to be there so I can see how effective it's going to be. So it's a bit of a test. It's a bit of a see. Um, and that's why I brought the sharks to make up that food difference or at least try right. to. Yeah, I, um, I, you. Uh, yeah, actually, you definitely have more heals than I do. It's close. So, it's close. Yeah, so yeah. I guess I'm it experimenting just... in a way as well because this, this is the first time I can keep on everything the entire fight and really have zero worry about running out of prayer. So yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Right. For let's sure. um. The top worlds, man. American right. ping. Whoopty fucking do. Let's go. <laughs> Right, I'm feeling a bit anxious on this one, but I'm excited. Link, um, you get first hit, of course, so give me that two-second yeah. warning, and we will fire right into this. Cool, I've got a lot of pots to eat. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drink, uh, Link, okay. you're going to get roasted for that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, let me just chuck everything on, make sure we've got the right prayers on. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. All right, man, I'm going to start drinking, but it's probably not your two-second warning because I've got a... Okay, probably a two-second warning now, mate. So... All right, do that. You ready? Yep, ready, man. Let's uh, do it. Okay. I don't okay. have to pick up bolts. I am... I know! <laughs> quite happy about that. Yep, I was scared that I was going to make an appearance. It's happened. I thought you were so scarred from uh, Trailblazers with that spec. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was like, will I ever see it again? <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Give you that one. That was good. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. He heard my click. He heard my click. I did fucking no such shit. thing. Wow. I cannot He's, believe. He, that is the equivalent of screen watching, guys. <laughs> what? Right there. Guys, right okay. There. The chat could hear, or the chat, I feel like I'm live streaming. The the audience can hear if, uh, if, if, if the click was there or not. Ooh, he didn't range that one. He's distracting me, guys, now. I know his tactics. I see. Tactics are important, mate. Important. Oof. I'm reading his moves now, guys. He's enjoying himself. I'm really not. I'm 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 actually anxious right now. I'm I'm more yeah. anxious about this than when I when I do risky your shit because I'm like it probably won't work. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm oh! like. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was not good. All right, well, one, or was it a one, or is that my recoil? I don't even know. Yeah, your range is, is much stronger, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm I, like, assuming I'm, I'm praying correctly, your range definitely does. Yeah. More damage there. Yeah, I switched that prior to you too quickly, I think. Oh, wow, smited. Smited, smited. He did zero. That, you know, I should just get smited more fucking often. <laughs> it, shit, it, dude, I never hit. It's the biggest I meme. It's the biggest meme these days. Love it. He's trying. He's trying. I respect it. I respect it, kids. Because you could, dude, you have a one fucking switch or a one item switch. So you could do it same tick and it's, dude, why'd that happen again? He hit a zero, guys. It's okay. Whew. 
I feel guilty leaving runite bolts on the ground still. Is that is that yeah, legit. weird? Legit. Don't know if I got that or not. I don't think I did. You look like you're fighting Jad over there, mate. Dude, my prayer goes down so fast. If it looks like I'm flicking, I'm just running out like a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Go, go, go. Ooh. Oh, man. Poor prayer management. Oh, yes. <gasps> it. Played. I'm out. A prayer. Okay. <sighs> Come on, big hits. Big hits. Oh, yes. And again. Yes! Oh my wow. god. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Yes! I'm out. Come on! I'm out as well. All right. <sighs> wow. Fuck! Wow, 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 wow. wow. Whew, okay. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I think Link said 30 HP was the difference there. A lot of mistakes on my end. Um, the biggest probably just being that I didn't start flicking Eagle Eye much earlier. I know I could have done it earlier. Looking back, I thought I had enough prayer to be honest. Uh, thankfully, Link made the same mistake. Um, doesn't excuse me for it, but on the bright side, it does mean that our account builds really are that close to each other. We both made the mistake and it was an only 30 HP difference. So um, yeah, guys, let's spin the RNG wheel and see what we get. 308, let's take a look. All right, I mean, yeah, happy. It's been two episodes since a one, so I'll take it. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to feel about it because I did bring sharks. Um, I was pretty late on my recoil, not gonna lie. Um, so I think if I'd been good on my recoil and Kins had had sharks as well, I think it would have been really, really close. It probably would have just come down to who hit the the last hit in terms of like we would have both been one shot. Um, so I don't really know exactly how to feel. I think we've got some time now to go and chuck some uh, some XP into the into the combats next episode. So we'll definitely be able to get a few max hits, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We've got 100k skilling XP as well, which is nice. So we'll uh, we'll be able to put that in for our reward. But anyway, let's see where we're going to go next. Uh, 472. Let's generate 446. 
Wow, that's good. That is good. That is good. Honestly, guys. Honestly, guys, I think it's time we start doing Barrows. Maybe maybe we rush defense. This is like a sign. This is a s Maybe it's time to rush Barrows, guys. I mean, I, again, I don't have the defense level, but this is a sign, man. I'm getting all these chunks over here. Maybe the RNG gods are calling for, the, for this chunk. We already have it. But to go to this chunk, to use this chunk, to utilize it. But... There's some stuff we could definitely do with 308, which is right here, and uh, we'll make it happen, man. Maybe, um, maybe Avas could go for Avas. Is, ooh, ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, Tybo One-Eye. Don't know exactly how to feel about that. Don't have this chunk unlocked, so we will have to go one up uh, to connect. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I think that does unlock um, snakeskin boots, though, because I'm pretty sure that's where the snakes are within Taibo One Eye. Um, yeah, I guess it's not too bad because we do have to unlock this up here for Holy Grail so that we can uh, get our melee prayers. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's sort of within what we need to be doing. So not an awful one. Well, congrats, Link. That was insanely close. Bit fuming at that loss there. 30 HP it was, right? <sighs> yeah, 30 HP, no food. So, uh, <sighs> yeah, very close, mate. Very, very close. close. You can't get away from me that easy, Link. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm doing any, everything I can to get that slight edge. But GZ, oh, no. Link, 100k XP in any skill that is non-combat, and I get 80k yep. XP. Yeah, this could be a game changer. Who knows? Very eager to see where you put that XP because we don't have thieving. That That's always been the talk, thieving and herb lore. Now we're both at those goals. We now have unlimited prayer pots in the account. So if you see 10,000 in our bank, you'll know why. Link, congrats again. And they could watch another episode on Thursday over on your channel. So.